Hello, hello. Welcome. <laughs> it always is fun to see a member of the upper echelons of society come to seek my help. I assume you are seeking my help, correct? <laughs> of course you are. What elite would come to me if not to seek my help? Well, you have certainly come to the right place. Of course, associating with me isn't the best idea, you know. Of course you did. Aristocrats such as yourself are so smart and intelligent, aren't they? Well, enough of that. I should really ask. What help do you need from me? I mean, it surely can't be good, as it has to be fun in a sort of devilish way. You want me to spy on a prince? <laughs> for, for what reason? Is he your superior in principality? Or maybe you are his thief? No. Then why do you ask for my help? I'd assume he'd be your superior in some manner. So if not that power dynamic, then for what reason should I spy on him? Hmm. You wish to defame an heir? How peculiar. And what relation do you have to your suspect? Hmm. You say you're the advisor to his father? Well, that seems to be a very advantageous position. Why don't you order some of your officials to spy upon him? Why implicate yourself in my reputation? <laughs> it makes no sense. You don't have that type of authority. Really? You don't have that type of authority? Do you think that I, Count Von Eels, the criminal count, the chief among tricksters and master mischief, really believe you are without authority in this? You, the advisor of the king, as you so claim, are without authority to investigate and spy upon the citizens of his realm, even if that citizen be his own son. I am no fool. There is something more to this, is there not? Oh, hoo -hoo. you require the king's authority in order to enact any policies, even secret. <laughs> he truly is a smart man, or perhaps an ancestor of his was. I mean, such a system wouldn't be very advantageous for him at the end of the day, even then. Maybe just to limit his own staffing authority, but if he already trusts you, why would he have to get you to authorize anything by his name? I presume you are no absolutist, then? Ah, you aren't. I thought as much. I know much about the little fiefdoms around here, even though they might call themselves kingdoms at the end of the day. Most of them could not stand such policies, so a big bad king romping around like he's Louis, well, that would certainly be unfavorable. Regardless, you do lack an authority, so there is truth to your statement. But. Why don't you just convince your parliament or assembly in front of the prince to investigate that little suspect of yours? Oh, right, short stack. I was only kidding. No need to get feisty. I know it was a bad idea. I did that on purpose. But you need to understand how to understand tones. I, it is quite amazing. You are an advisor, and you don't understand that your king must be very bland at the end of the day. But, regardless, I do have one serious question for you. How do you plan on obtaining the money for payment? I mean, if you have parliament deep in bed with you, I suppose you could, but I doubt that in any constitutional system. So, what is it? 
I doubt you're getting the funding from them. Hmm? Why do you look so confused? I'm not doing this for free. If you want me to gather intel upon this suspect of yours, then I will need to be paid. Oh. You'll just pay me from your personal estate? I suppose that makes sense. Although, would be rather suspicious at the end of the day on your part. A large chunk of money disappearing, but oh well, that's all fine and good. Now, all I have to do is perform the action that you wish. Which might not be a simple feat at the end of the day, but is a feat that I can do. A very interesting feat, nonetheless, though. So perhaps you can tell me where the prince is quartered. Oh, a simple lodging in one of the primary towers of the palace? Sounds interesting. Well, if that is the case, then perhaps I have a way to speed up the information gathering process. Well, it is simple. I would disguise myself as a member of the staffing in the castle. Perhaps a butler, or perhaps a chef. Who knows? Uh, you can decide at the end of the day. And then I would station myself near the proximity of his room. Mm, perhaps not too far, but perhaps not too close uh, at the end of the day. Uh, it is up to you. And then after that, I would simply spy upon him. A very simple task, of course. All with your permission to be stationed in the castle. It is just a simple solution to the problem of how I could do it in a short amount of time without having to station myself within the village and in no need to worry about the disguise, I'll be able to get to that myself. Hmm? Oh, I can? That is excellent to hear. Well, I suppose I will report for duty soon enough. But, uh, with that being done, I shall tell you this one simple matter. I do not expect the pay now. In fact, I shall receive the pay myself after my duty is done. Ah, uh, it would be very kind of you to give it to me directly, but whatever means you see fit shall be given. How can I guarantee this? Oh, it's very simple. You will pay. I can guarantee it in one way or another that you will pay any means, means, m any means, at the end of the day. But you shouldn't have to worry about that, as long as I cooperate with you and you cooperate with me. It should be a simple matter. Regardless, you are dismissed. It seems as if all our arrangements are now within order. So, I shall see you very soon. Adieu.